Yo, what up? It's Dill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use OpenSea. This is going to be a walkthrough about some of the OpenSea features. I'm just going to talk about how to use the platform, what some of the best use cases are, and why you might want to use OpenSea instead of another platform. So it's not going to be super technical. I'm just going to walk you through. So this is the homepage of OpenSea, and I will show you my profile. After you connect with your MetaMask wallet, you'll be logged into your profile and you'll have an account here. So you can see I already configured everything. I really like how they have a header image and a profile image on OpenSea. It's really cool and it makes for a good experience. The wallet here also looks really good. It picks up all of your different NFTs no matter what platform they're on. So that is really great about OpenSea. And so I want to talk about the collections here because we're going to be focused on the process of creating an NFT on OpenSea. So let's look at my collections. You can see I have my Crypto Rich Album collection. And if you're making a brand new collection, so let's go back to that page. Uh, when you go through the process of creating a collection, you can essentially create it here. Uh, you put in your logo information and everything. So, And then you'll have to essentially pay a transaction fee. Now, what's cool about OpenSea is when you pay the transaction fee to create a collection, you're setting up what's called lazy minting. So it's about a $50 or $60 transaction fee, one smart contract interaction, and you'll get a blank collection page. And what's so great about this is once you have a collection, you can add unlimited items for free you won't actually get charged until the buyer goes ahead and purchases it and then they'll have to pay the transaction fee to actually mint the item. So the collections on OpenSea are awesome because you can go ahead here and just add a new item at any time and you see the information comes up, you put your item in here, uh, you enter the name and you can link and you can do all of this information. Uh, you can build properties, levels and stats. That's for like if you're making a trading card game. Uh, we can talk about that more in depth in a different video and I can explain exactly what those functionalities do. Unlockable content is very useful. I usually link to a custom link on my website here and that way I can add custom unlockable content in the future at any time. So it leaves it kind of open-ended. If you have your own website, you might want to create a custom link and then send them to the unlockable content. And at that link, I'll just literally put a copy of the NFT or maybe a download file for higher quality. So supply, you can see it's grayed out. We can talk about in another video how to use the supply. You actually can mint multiple here on OpenSea, which is really useful. And I really like that functionality compared to how Rarible does it. They're both really good for it, but I think OpenSea is a little bit ahead of the game right now in terms of their platform. So this is how you create a new item. And I'll go back to uh, the collection so you can see my Crypto Rich album collection. And I have a few items here that I already minted. So let's wait, talk about what you can do once the item is already out. So let's look at, for example, my Crypto Rich album collectible. So you can see this one's been out a few days. The price has been rising since it came out. Um, I was able to create listings for my entire uh, sale, which is awesome, right? Because on Rarible, you actually can't do it like this. You have to put them up in tranches one at a time. Uh, so you can't do it quite like this, but this is really convenient because I can set up my pricing and everyone can see it right there. Uh, you can put details and information here. I believe this can be changed even while the item is live. So the way that you change it is you go back to here and I think maybe you click on manage. Let's try uh, manage. Yeah, manage. And then so you can't edit it once it's out. You see that? But this item hasn't been sold yet, so I can still edit. And you hear the song there. So this is the shooting star. You see I can edit all these traits. But as soon as the NFT goes out, I will no longer be able to edit those traits. So you can see here, for example, here's how the page looks before it goes out. And if I want to go ahead and try to edit it, again, I'm going to have to go to manage and edit here. I'm a fine in the great in the cool in the state. I can fool, I can wait, I can. So you can see there, those are a few options. Let's look at the edit here just to show you what is in the collection, what you can edit, the preview, the name, the URL. Um, all of this stuff can be edited here at any time. I just have a few things here. Uh, Discord, I think this is to my Deluminati Discord. Um, percentage fee, this is really important. This shows what your commission is on the collection. So I get 10% commission on this collection. It pays out to my address. 
This is really important. This is your commission fee, your royalties. So you want to get a 10% royalty. That's the maximum on here. You can set it to lower, but not higher. Uh, Rarible allows for higher, like 20, but I set it at 10% so that it would be the same across both platforms. So yeah, that was most of the functionality on OpenSea. There's a lot of cool stuff here, like the rankings, and I'm sure the blog has good information. I haven't read through this. The NFT Bible is actually one of the best pieces of information. I should probably talk about this in another video. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely write this down to talk about it in another video. OpenSea is one of the best places to get information about NFTs, and I think this is going to be the top marketplace. So yeah, this, this is how to use OpenSea, and if you got some value from this video and it helped you get started with OpenSea, make sure to subscribe to my channel, uh, drop a like on the video, and comment, and of course, grab some crypto-rich NFTs. You know, we got the crypto-rich deluxe here, which is on rarity. Uh, uh, yeah, so I really like how the collectibles from Rarible show up on here looking great on OpenSea. So yeah, thanks guys. Have a good one.